You're watching Sports Vinyl. Well, tip top in the evening, everybody, and welcome to Sports Vinyl on this Friday the 13th, a night that would seem, at least among the superstitious, superstitious, <laughs> so to speak, to portend strange basketball happenings. So where, if, any, if anywhere, would their upsets be tonight? We've got highlights coming to you from all three corners of the Tri-States, including part two of the Keokuk and Fort Madison rivalry, an intriguing boys-girls twin bill between Palmyra and Marion County, and more tournament fun from Western Illinois. But Chris, we start tonight with Quincy Blue Devils needing a big win in Alleman. We wanted to bring you highlights, couldn't get any help out of our friends from the Quad Cities who apparently thought this wasn't an important game tonight. Unfortunately, we have no highlights. Turned out to be an important second half for the Quincy Blue Devils who come back from a five-point deficit and destroy Alleman. D'Angelo Dean with 18 points as the Blue Devils are now two and two in conference play. Both those wins have come on the road. Strange anomaly. Hey, it's Friday the 13th. We like those. We do not like this, however. Rough night for the Macomb Bombers on the road at Orion. Tanner Williams, the Allstate Center and Company, tear up Macomb tonight. 49 to 39 was your final there. Ross, Hancock County Tournament, buddy. Real fun game to watch between Unity and West Hancock. Check out Paxton Harmon here on the quick inbound. He'll work inside, get some space, that nice little off-balance runner, and then he'd get another one here. Check out the baseball toss from Austin Hardy right into his pocket there for Paxton Harmon. An easy layup. Unity coming back, though. Alex Blickhand coming here on the fast break, and he'll hand it off to Matthew Deucerhouse, who hits this quick pull-up off the glass. And then Deucerhouse, he's going to get another one here in just a second on the break. Good night for both teams, really. It was close back and forth, but final score in this one as Unity falls to West Hancock 71-64. to and we'll take a look at one more score from the Hancock County Tournament. Illini West still undefeated in the tourney. Evan McGaffey chips in 13 points. They win 65-35 tonight over Southeastern Chris. They'll take the tournament if they beat Keokuk tomorrow. Meanwhile, we have our WIT Winchester Invitational Championship all set up tonight. Jacksonville route pulls off yet another victory. Gail Foreman's team is really playing well right now. Beats Grigsville Perry 47-43. It will be route and liberty tomorrow night for all the marbles. Meanwhile, in the fifth place, uh, semifinals tonight, Brown County, Justin Volk heats up again, had 18 through 3, never saw a final total on him, but uh, Brown County beats North Green 56 to 30, and Carrollton will be the opponent as Carrollton knocks off Payson Seymour 52 to 39. Other Illinois games of note, West Prairie no match for Stark County, it was Rushville Industry with a gritty overtime win tonight over Beardstown, also Jacksonville fell tonight on the road at Springfield, 56-44 was your final. We've got boys action for you coming tonight from Corf Gymnasium, all my new friends watching is Macon and Hannibal. Go at it early on. Levi Walker spurs a 9-2 run in this one for the Macon Tigers. And the Macon faithful going nuts on the sideline. It would be short live. Look at Bubba Williams with a huge block right there. He had 15 points in the night. And then Hannibal's offense finally comes to life in the second quarter behind. You guessed it, Mike Shivers who will pull up and get the fortuitous carom. That kind of got things going for Hannibal. Their perimeter game struggled early on, but Jay Jones lighting up for three. He's good. More to come in this one. Again, it shivers wide open, long three. Hannibal just kind of takes care of business slowly, but effectively tonight beating up on Macon in this game. Final count in this one was 67 to 53. Meanwhile, real interesting boys game tonight over at Palmyra on Think Pink Night. Matt Thomas's team trying to bounce back from that ugly loss to Hannibal. Reed Plunkett trying to give his team a little edge. No, but Luke Stratton's there to clean up the boards and give Marion County a one-point lead at that point. How about the great pass right there from Blaine White inside to Darius Thompson. White on the night. Another big scoring night. He couldn't get much help. Meanwhile, look at Clay Pollard. Forceful foray to the hoop right there. And Marion County going to catch fire behind my favorite sniper. All four foot 11 of Reed Plunkett going nuts from the outside. Let all scorers with 18 points. That kid can do that. Mr. Plunkett, if you please, cue the upset tonight, or at least the big win. Marion County Mayhem tonight as Marion County gets the win over Palmyra. Final on that one was a six point win, I believe. Ended up 43 to uh, 36, I believe was your final. That would be a seven point win, if you please. More to come right now. Scotland County boys taking on South Shelby. Bryce Caldwell running away from everybody, getting the layup. But you know what? South Shelby had answers tonight, had plenty of them. This game played at Scotland County rather than South Shelby, as your locator would indicate. Look at Danton Harvey pulling up. Mr. Harvey, if you please, doing his thing. Scotland County, though, with answers. Cody, or Cordy Tiger, I should say, from the corner, knocking down the three. Then it's Drew Miller, the speedster, doing likewise as well, knocking down the three. But South Shelby had many answers tonight. They would come courtesy of Andre McClure coming up in just a second right here. Going to do some nice work after uh, 
the block at that point. Uh, it's Mr. McClure with the cleanup. Andrew Mathis coming up right here, uh, doing some things. Uh, no, there you go. There's Mr. McClure finishing up nicely for his team as well. Timmy Fisher had a real big night. The Timmer, we'll show you him in a second. First nice bucket right here from Andrew Mathis finishing for Scotland County. The Timmer tonight, big night, had 22 points in this one as South Shelby got hot late. And Polish is off the win on the road. Final count in favor of South Shelby, 64 to 52. Your final other scores from Missouri tonight in overtime, Louisiana over Clark County. Uh, that score, 51 to 49. Mark Twain gets big nights tonight for Mr. Jarman, Mr. Anderson in beating Monroe City. Also, Canton with a nice win over North Shelby, 69 to 60 was your final. How about Southeast Iowa, Ross? Hey, one more for you though. Ellsbury state rank beats up on Orchard Farm on the road. Matt Losing with 25 points. And now it's your turn, Ross. Half the gym red, half the gym purple here for Keokuk and Fort Madison and Kendall Clark early going. He just created a ton of space in the paint. It's the easy layup there. Kia Cuck not done though. First half, Dan Williams is going to line it up and drill the three as Kia Cuck works it around the perimeter. Now, uh, Fort Madison, they were close there in that second quarter. They're going to they're gonna get one back. Jordan Breakout gets the second chance bucket here off the miss from three as he gets it off the glass. A nice job there. Isaac Steffensmeyer would then drill a three towards the end of the second quarter, but Kia Cuck able to pull away in the third quarter and really stretch it out in the fourth quarter. Final score from this one. Keokuk 74, Fort Madison 43. And just down the street, how about Holy Trinity and Cardinal? It was the first half. Derek Vandenberg getting it going early in some traffic. A good finish there. Holy Trinity, though, not done. They got an early lead courtesy of some good quick thinking Whoa. plays. Ryan Koenig slips in down low, uh, gets the ball and finishes it off. Quick thinking there. And then Koenig's going to miss it. But Mitch Moeller is going to be there for the finish. Holy Trinity plays very well tonight against Cardinal. Final score in this one is 58 to 37 over Cardinal. Also tonight we've got Central Lee. You see that score that Ross just read you. Holy Trinity wins 58 to 37. Good win tonight for Lauren Mankey's crew. And Central Lee kind of gets off the schneid. They put on a victory over Harmony 55 to 39. Andrew Matheson with 12 points there. I think that's too straight for Central Lee. Playing good basketball right now. Q&D girls taking on the Unity Girls Battle of Adams County. You don't see this often. Q&D behind on the scoreboard. You bet to Brianne Begeman. Puts her team up two to nothing. That would be enough to anger the Lady Raiders in this one. Cassidy Gangenbacher from the outside, three. And my friends, it was Sharks versus Minnows, or at least Lady Minnows from that point on. How about Tori Kuhn, your reigning student athlete of the week? Nice steal. Oh, the future Lindenwood product with a nice kiss off the glass there. How about Kristen Gangenbacher as well? Good defense. She came off the bench tonight, doing work at the point guard position. Pretty stuff from her. She pulls up, she floats, she levitates even a little at the end of that. You kind of like that, Ross. Girls got some bounce to bad. her. And then it's Jordan Furricks cleaning up as well as Quincy Notre Dame cleans up tonight against a really good Unity team, which just kind of reminds you how good uh, Q&D is winning by 38 tonight, 78 to 40 is your final. Would Q&D get a showdown with undefeated Havana in the championship game tomorrow? You betcha they would because Havana took care of business against South Fulton. This is Kelsey Snowden with the three. Story in this game though, the All-Staters Sam Ellsworth, three here, and then she's going to transition on you as well. This is what Q&D will have to contend with tomorrow night. The Ducks, this is probably one of two potentially, maybe three potentially really good games for QD to finish out the regular season. Pena and then Edwardsville in our shootout would be the others, but tomorrow night must see action tomorrow night at Camp Point Central. As you see, Havana gets the win 69 to 55 over South Fulton. Girls scores to pass along to you now. Clark County, too much for Louisiana tonight, 53 to 19, your final there. Monroe City jumps over Mark Twain, 56 to 41. North Shelby tonight, nice win over Canton, 50 to 39, your final there. And Macon. And Hannibal were tied at 25 apiece in the third quarter, and then Macon goes on a 22 to 6 run and just blows the doors off Hannibal from that point forward, winning that game by the final count of 55 to 38. High drama tonight in Palmyra on Think Pink Night, Marion County. Palmyra going at it. The Marion County fan showing up on Moss, trying to avoid the upset early on, though. Kitty Hinkle and company had other ideas. Great three for her, and we're on upset alert going into the second half as Marion County is down five. Then Kaylin Spratt steps up and do, does what she does. That's a 10-point effort from that young lady. Pretty spin move for her. Story in this game, though, down the stretch, third quarter when Marion County was down, they started making entry passes. And when you have an All-Stater to catch them like Jessica Red, it's a very good thing to do. Red tonight with 27 points. Still, Palmyra would not go away in this game again. Katie. Hinkle, long range, then Alexis Lawson running away from everybody. She had back-to-back -back steals in this game, put her team up one, but Jessica Red would close out tonight. Coffee is for closers. ABC always be closing. Glengarry Glen Ross style tonight. Jessica Red gets the finish tonight. She had 27. It's Marion County avoids the upset, 53-49. Ross, Scotland County. Scotland, Calvi Scotland County and South Shelby, excuse me. Haley Dial is going to come in here for Scotland and 
hit the jumper long range on that one. Now, keep in mind the Tigers' D is really one of their biggest strengths. And then check out Callie Holt after the huddle here, trying to stretch out this lead. Sometimes you do that on defense. Callie Holt, get out on the baseline. Good defense there as Scotland County, Scotland County would really roll in this one, 57-32 over South Shelby tonight. We think that might be the first ever win for Scotland County over South Shelby, so great win tonight for Coach yeah, Hunsiker's absolutely. crew. We've got wrestling coming up tomorrow. Sorry we missed it tonight, but everything ran late tonight, so huge wrestling tomorrow in overtime. Basketball from everywhere, every tournament wrapping up tomorrow. That yeah. should be fun. And Ross and I will be in the live chat in a matter of moments. We will see you there, everybody. Look forward to talking to you about all things basketball and tomorrow's schedule as well, which should be a fun one. We'll see you on overtime at 10.30. Good night, everybody.